Netflix. Okay. Alexa, turn bathroom on. Okay. I made his side of the bed up, but it didn't make mine up. <sighs> oh well. Cut that off. Oh, why are lights still on? Oh, did you bring a plug? Yeah. Okay. Alexa. <clears throat> Alexa. Alexa. Turn guest bathroom off. Another day in the ghetto. Do, 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 do. really sunny outside but these aren't really dark so guess what I'm still going to wear them get by with it until God oh what if mom is outside playing with her kids with nerf guns and it's away so I'll be there at one o'clock y'all I am about to go my boobs look disgusting <sighs> maybe I shouldn't have wore this shirt but anyways I'm about to go um, to look at mobile homes. Oh. <laughs> okay. uh, I'm on my way to go look at mobile homes. Um, people that know me and my husband know that um, that is a goal of ours. We would prefer to purchase a mobile home rather than purchase a house, especially if we're going to be stuck here in Texas for some time. Um, so, um, uh, yeah, so I'm going to go look at a couple, um, ah! almost hit the curb, looking at a bug, but anyways, um, I'm going to go look at a couple and I'll record, I'll take you guys along with me, of course, but what other way is there to do it? But anyways, yes, I'm on my way to go look at some other homes. Uh, yeah, you'll see that in the next clip. Unless something interesting happens, then I feel like I need to record. Because I think there's something else inside. Okay, peeps, uh, I am picking up a online order. I bought a few things. Uh, today is one of my doctor's birthday, and um, uh, he is turning, I think, 30. I think he's turning 30. He's turning 30 or 31, one of them two. And um, I just thought it was nice to, like, it would be nice to, like, get him a little something. So I was asking some of his colleagues, uh, you know, like, what does he like? Like, uh, cause he's very quiet y'all he's so quiet so um really nice uh humble kind of person so I wanted to do something nice to make him smile something that would be unexpected from a patient well I don't know cause he be having patients hit on him all the time but I want him uh he's a very nice nice young man but uh <laughs> I'm happily married uh but anyways y'all um I just wanted to do something that was unexpected for, uh, from a patient, patient standpoint. You know, I feel like they have done a tremendous work in saving my life. Uh, it's a chiropractic office, and um, I haven't really talked about this before, but I was in a uh, car wreck when me and T, me and my husband, first got married, and. How old? I think I was. 
I think I had just turned 25, but I was 20, I think I was 24. I had just gotten to the accident and we had just bought that car from his grandmother, y'all. I was so excited about that little old car. We had a, uh, I think it was an Oldsmobile. It was a silver Oldsmobile, but I was happy about our little car. Do you hear me? Uh, it was well kept up and everything. And um, a guy pulled out in front of me and I T-boned him going the right away. He thought he had enough time, I guess, to make his turn. And uh, yeah, I was pretty broken up. You know, I had an arm brace. I had this big mark of Buddha thing on the front of my forehead and all of that. And um, I never went and got like actual medical treatment. I just went to the ER and that was it. Here I am at the ripe age of 30, and all those years I had back problems, numbing in my hands, in my arms, shoulders, fingers, all of that. And I had told T, I was like, I think I need to possibly go to a chiropractor. And these people have been nothing but nice, from the owner all the way down to the uh, receptionist at the desk. They have been nothing but amazing. Yes, Henderson. Oh, I'll take it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, you too. Um, so I picked him up some of his like favorite goodies or whatever. One of the doctors, one of his colleagues there was telling me, uh, this way like, you know, blah, blah, blah. He's probably not going to do anything. What I don't expect. Uh, he hasn't said anything about plans or anything. And so uh, I was like, okay, cool. I could put I could put a basket together. It ain't nothing for me to put a basket together, okay? Period. So now I'm on my way to go look at these mobile homes, y'all. So I'll see y'all in a bit because I'm doing enough recording and I ain't got time to be doing all the editing. Okay, y'all, I made it. It's all right. <laughs> uh course it will look different because it is a mobile home park they are actually bigger than what I expected which is a plus um so I am about to call hubby and let him know that I made it um this one is in a different location than what I thought it was originally Hello. hey babe I made it Yay. Why I'm over here by, um, uh, I'm going to see if they still have it available and, um, or see what they have available out here and I will video. Are you on lunch? No, not yet. I go on lunch at 1.30. Okay. You can still video me. If I can answer, I will. And if not, I'll answer and tell you to put the phone on you. Okay. All right. All right. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Uh, dang it. My keys. Oh, I never locked it. Okay. <sighs> well, guys, that was a bummer. Shame on me. I should have called before I uh, came out here. Um, but I still have some more in this area, I think. I, th I have total. I have a total of four that I want to look at. That one was no longer available, but she told me that they do have one that was a repo. <laughs> they had one that was a repo, and so it wasn't available to view. Um, it wouldn't be available until July. So, why did I pull that out? So... Uh, she said that one for right now is going to be a lease, but most of the people here are actual homeowners, which is a really good thing. Um, cause that means you don't have that many frequent people coming in and out. Um, so she said they typically on all of their homes, they do a, um, they do rent to rent to own. And so you pay you know whatever is due uh or whatever you know terms or whatever and then you pay it off in so many years or whatever for whatever so i really do like the fact that most of the people here are homeowners um and uh it's pretty well kept um 
you know, it's nice. I think this is the one that I was looking at. 1304, if I'm not mistaken. I think, oh no, that ain't it. Let me stop looking at people's house. the same zip code so I'm assuming you know that's a pretty good thing uh, but yeah I am on my way to this other location and hopefully I can view something and building some new townhomes right here I don't know those are not townhomes those are apartments Right, y'all so this community is ginormous i got lost uh so i do see that they have a community pool um the office is huge um very clean a little different from the other one um these have actual driveways the other one had like drive spots <laughs> if that makes sense um, but these actually have driveways and some people even have the like metal carport like the Mobile carport that you can put over your vehicles, which I really like and a lot of these over here look a little newer Which is not To knock the older ones because sometimes I prefer the older ones, especially uh, The older ones typically have really big garden tubs um, and I like that but yeah, I am about to hit in I am horrible <laughs> with, plan with planning stuff out. I have come to terms with that. Typically, I will call and write stuff down, price point, all that. Other thing I have, well, I'll talk to you in the car. Hold on. Okay, y'all. I am convinced that I need to step up my game. Normally, I call, I write, I will text write everything down whatever and this time I didn't I guess because I just wanted to like really just get out the house and it's just like you know what if but the market has been really crazy especially with mobile homes because people have been put on game of how inexpensive they are um, and so that one wasn't available so I'm going to actually call the um, I'm going to call my next, sorry, hold on one second, I'm going to call my next location to see if they have anything available because, <laughs> y'all, this little boy just smacked the mess out of his sister. <laughs> I don't think he was ready to get out the pool. <laughs> All right, y'all, so, I just got to, uh, one that I have been looking at for a minute but it was not on my list but they post a lot on freaking TikTok which is crazy um I instantly love this one out of all the ones that I've actually like laid my eyes on today because they have yard space which is crazy for a trailer park but um they have yard space so I'm about to get out and see if they have anything available to view Lord, please let them have something for me to see. Lay my eyes on. Get a glimpse of. Get a taste of. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, y'all. So, this has been a <laughs> crappy day. So, the one, the page that I follow that's on TikTok, they do have one available. And it's the one that I actually saw. Um, the lady said that she has, like, special days when she does viewings or whatever which is weird whatever but um i was like okay so she said if you want to come back on saturday you know i'll be uh showing then um and i like this particular um lot it's not the one that i went to just a few minutes ago or in the last clip i had to come over here because she works at both properties but um when i came over here it's literally up the street around the corner 
um, when I came over here, um, she was telling me that this property is a lot better because it's not as close to the highway, which is a good thing and a bad thing, or it can be a bad thing, I'll say that. But, um, but yeah, she was really nice. She went ahead and sent me the application. She was like, you know, it's been for sale. She said it's just a lot of people can't um, afford it or whatever. Um, it actually isn't that much. It's three bedroom, two bath. I think it's right at right at fifteen hundred square feet, and it's only sixty thousand dollars. That's a brand new car, so that's why I want to. Um, and it's an older model too, so therefore, um, I'll get the bathtub that I want in the master bath. I won't have to worry about the headache of a shower or something like that. Something that my husband won't be able to use. All that good stuff. Blah 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 blah. So, um, I like it, and it has a really really big island, which is something that we had in our uh, our apartment when we were in Dallas. Um, that I really liked. Um, it's not that far from our Bishop and First Lady's house. So I like that. You know, they're in close proximity. Um, it's not that far from my parents. It's a little closer. We're up the street from a Walmart. Or we would be up the street from a Walmart if we decide, you know, we want to move forward with that one. Um, they can ask you too. <laughs> and, oh, and I got a subway. Um, but anyways, uh, so yeah, so I didn't get a chance to view it. That was a bummer, but she told me, she said the actual pictures that I have listed on Facebook and on our website are the ones that I took and I uploaded myself. So that's exactly how it looks now. And I was like, okay, good. You know, that's, that's updated pictures. That was really basically all I needed to see. Um, so she went ahead and sent me the application and I wanted to help everybody. I can't move until October. Um, but, uh. We shall see because we've been having issues with the town home that we're in currently. Um, things are breaking down. It's a headache to get maintenance to come out. And by things breaking down, because you know your girl is a handy girl, I will fix some stuff. But when mildew and mold becomes a problem, we have a problem because we dealt with that with our last uh, our last house that we were in and. I ended up in the hospital. So, um, it's just been like pulling teeth just to get someone to like come out. Unless we say that our AC is completely broken and it's 80 degrees in our house, then they're not coming out. And so, um, yeah, so now I'm on my way to the chiropractor. I'm gonna go early today so I can go ahead and get that out of the way and I can go back home, do what I need to go do. Uh, pack for me in the hub because we are going to my hometown this weekend. Um, so, yay! Oh, mm -mm, wait a minute. Yay! That'll be fun. Uh, I have not been home in years. Um, I did go, what, two years ago, but it was literally a turnaround trip. I went and left the same day. Um, I went to help my auntie move, so I literally didn't do anything, but we went to her house, loaded the U-Haul up, packed, and loaded the U-Haul up, and then came back to Texas. So, I don't count that, because I didn't see anybody, I didn't go anywhere other than to her house, and that was it. But, um, but yeah, so, it's been at least four years since I have been home. And I'm excited and nervous, all in one, uh, because, I don't know. Hometown been on the map. They been on the map, but they have been on the map, map. They been doing the most. And I ain't got time. And I've been watching these shows and stuff uh, on Netflix. <laughs> but no, uh, I know God has us and um, I know that we'll have a wonderful time. I am excited uh, for the opportunity that God has uh, provided and put before me. Um, We'll have a good time and we'll eat good because uh, Texas food is good, <laughs> but it ain't nothing like Louisiana, baby. It ain't nothing like Louisiana, so I'm looking forward to that. Um, but, anyways, y'all, let me get in this chiropractic office and I'll, I'll holler at y'all in a minute. 
Y'all yeah, little boy just smacked the mess out of his sister. <laughs> I don't think he was ready to get out the pool. Thank <laughs> you.